This is amazing. Now we have RAG for Crew AI. In this, we are going to create new search agent, writer agent, and then they are going to give us a report. The main difference comes on how they retrieve data and save it in a vector database. Consider a news agency, the news search agent, search for news articles, and then give the top news to the writer. The writer search for more information on a topic by searching the internet to give in-depth report on each topic. That's exactly what we're going to replicate here. So as a news search agent, going to search the news using API. Let's say he's going to find news from BBC website and then going to store all the information in Chroma database as embeddings. Next, the news search agent pass the news information to the writer. Now the writer can verify the information from Chroma DB. Then the writer can further search the internet for each individual topic to get more information. And finally, we get a report like this. So I asked the agent to search for latest AI news articles and I got this. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about RAG that is Retrieval Augmented Generation for Crew AI. So the way we are going to implement this is using tools in Crew AI. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to build this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, pip install Crew AI, Langchain Community, Langchain OpenAI, request DuckDuckGo search and Chroma DB, and then click enter. Now export your news API key like this and then click enter. You can get news API key from newsapi.org website and you have free tier as well. This is used to get the latest news articles. Next, export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py and then let's open it. First from crew AI, import agent task crew and process. Next chat open AI, base retriever, open AI embeddings, tool, web base loader, request an OS, recursive character text splitter, chroma, duck duck go search run. So we're going to use web base loaders used to load the content from a URL. The content will be split into chunks using recursive character text splitter. Then it's converted to embeddings using OpenAI embeddings. Then it's stored in Chroma DB. First, we are going to define our embedding function, then defining the large language model. Totally, we are going to create three tools. One tool to extract the data from news API and save it in Chroma DB. Next tool to retrieve the data and give it to the writer. And the third tool is to search the internet using DuckDuckGo search. So tool number one, save news article in a database. So this is going to search the news article using newsapi.org API. We are going to search for the top five results sorted by the published date. Next, we are retrieving those top five articles using request.get. Next, we are checking if it worked or not. If it fails, it will return fail to retrieve news. Next, we are going to get the articles from the response. Now we are defining all splits. Now we are looping through those articles. That is the top five articles. First step, we are reading the content from the page using web base loader. Next, we are dividing that content into chunks using recursive character text splitter. Next, we are loading the divided content into all splits variable. Now we are going to index the accumulated content. So we are using Chroma DB and we are passing all the data in all splits. Then we are defining the embedding function that is AI embedding. Then we are defining the persist directory. That's where a folder will get created and all your embeddings or the data will get saved. This can be used later to retrieve. Now we are going to use vector store similarity search and then retrieve the articles from the vector database. Finally, we are returning the data. So overall, the search news DB tool will go through the top five search results, convert those to embeddings and save that in Chroma DB and return the results. Now the second tool is to retrieve the stored data from Chroma DB. So we are mentioning the path of Chroma DB. Then based on the query or the question, we are going to search the Chroma DB and return the results. 
Third, we are going to search for news articles on the web. We are going to use DuckDuckGo search tool. Now we are going to create these two agents and then assign tasks to them. So number two, creating agents. First, the news search agent. This agent is going to search the latest news from the API tool and then save that in vector database. Finally, it's going to return key points from the latest news article. The next agent, writer agent. So the writer agent is expert in crafting engaging narratives from complex information. So the writer agent is going to use get news tool that's retrieving the saved data. That's how the rag comes into place. So retrieving data from embeddings and use that to give us the result. It is also going to use search tool to search each individual topic. Next, we're going to define two different tasks for those agents. So the new search task is to search for AI 2024. You can replace this keyword with anything you want to search and create key points for each news. And we are assigning that to the new search agent. Next, write a task. Go step by step, identify all the topics received, use the get news tool to verify each topic by going through one by one. Use the search tool to search for information on each topic one by one. Write in-depth summary for the information received, assigned to the writer agent. Next, the final step, creating the crew. News crew equals crew. We are assigning those agents and the toss. Process is sequential. You can even try hierarchical and test the results. Now result equals news crew dot kickoff. And finally, we are going to print the results. That's it. As a quick overview, we created three different tools. First tool to search for news and save it in the database. Second, retrieve those saved news from the database. Third, to search the web. Next, we created agents. Then we created tasks for those agents. Finally, we created the crew and made them work together. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python app.py and then I click enter. Now I can see it's executing. And you can see first it's going to the news search agent and it's using news db tool. So it's going to use the news API and get the top five news in regards to AI. Then it's going to finalize the list of points collected here. Now then it's sent to the writer agent. So the writer agent is using get news tool to verify the information, to get the context for each individual topic, as you can see here. And finally, it gave me a report like this. Based on the information gathered from the get news tool, here is the in-depth summary of the topics. New AI program in Europe, 2024 trends report by handshake, AI deepfakes and global elections, and it gives more information. This is just the basic implementation of RAG. You can fine tune this further. This is just to give you an idea. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.